Apologies for the mess. Those of you who are my students know this isn't actually a mess. But what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the diffraction of light using some diffraction gratings. And one of the neat things you can do is actually put it in front of a camera and then anybody can see it. So what I have here is I have some diffraction gratings. I happen to get these from uh, Ward Scientific, although you can get them lots of places. Uh, we're going to do a classic diffraction grating experiment here. We're going to put the viewer, or in this case the camera, at the 50 centimeter mark. And that's going to be the distance 50 centimeters from the light source. Here is an LED light source that's calibrated, so it's of known wavelengths, although I'm not going to tell you what the wavelengths are, you can figure them out. Every 10 centimeters from the center, I've put an orange line going up, and the reason I did that is when I turn the lights out, it's actually pretty difficult to read the numbers. But you're going to be able to measure this distance here, where you see the diffracted image of that some distance away and that's going to be related to the spacing and the grading and the distance and this distance and obviously the wavelength which is what we're really interested in. So what I'm going to show you uh, is you can actually put a diffraction grating here and you can see some general white light being diffracted into different colors but we're going to look at particular discrete uh, wavelengths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera, I'm going to put it on the 50 centimeter mark as promised. And then I'm going to put the diffraction grating in front of the lens. Hopefully I've put it in the right direction. And I'm going to turn off the lights. And I'm going to turn on the LEDs uh, one at a time. Okay, so let's turn the diffraction grating this way. And you can see there are the positions. Uh, can't even really see my finger. Maybe I'll turn one of the lights on on the far side of the room. Sorry for the delay. Yes, that works much better. Uh, and you can see there's the first LED. I'm going to turn on the second one. Notice different color, different position. Again, different color, different position. Let's see what happens when I turn more on. That last one was actually really close in position, so best of luck with that. Something else you can use as a light source. It's a really common element, by far the most common element in the universe. That's our buddy, hydrogen. I'm going to attempt here. Put this back, and then I'll move the camera back just a little. And let's turn that on and see what we see. Of course, we're going to want a diffraction grating or else it's boring. So that is what hydrogen looks like. Let's go ahead and pick another element. Uh, the next element I have up for you is helium. The next element up. Put your 
back. As you can see the lines are different. Hopefully that's long enough to get your positions. And the last element that I have in a discharge tube is neon. As you can see here if you want to order these from Arbor Scientific. This is the same neon I presume they use in neon signs. And we are at 50 centimeters. And hopefully you can use those orange lines to sort of uh, gauge the positions there. Uh, hopefully this is interesting to somebody out there in the universe, or one of my students who happens to miss lab. And I hope they have fun uh, analyzing this.